Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and welcome to the new video series here on the channel in which we are going to talk about website design. It's a four part video series and this is the last part. So in the first video from this series we covered design brief and paper wireframes. In the second video from the series we covered wireframes in Adobe XD. In previous video we covered design, so we went from wireframes to design in Adobe XD and in this fourth and final video from this video series we are going to cover adding some different effects, adding transitions, adding different components and component states and I'm going to show you some a little bit more advanced techniques which I didn't show you in the previous video. This insert is from my new video course Adobe XD Masterclass and you can check it out by cl clicking the link in the description. I'm also giving you a massive discount on that course so make sure to use it because it's going to end up really really soon so make sure to hurry up and get it while it's still at that price. In that video course we have over 20 hours of video material. We are going to design a bunch of these different website pages and I'm going to show you a bunch of easy and advanced techniques as well. We are going to cover the entire design process from ideation, paper wireframes, wireframes in Adobe XD, design, animation and most importantly all of these techniques combined together in one easy to follow design process. So as I said this is the last video from this series and let's jump inside. Hey there and welcome to the final video from this video series. In the first video from this video series which is an insert from my course which you can get at a massive discount at a link below. We have went through and uh, checked out our design brief then we have created this paper wireframe. In the second video from this series we imported a paper wireframe in Adobe XD, recreated it in Adobe XD. In the third video we have created this design, we included these different images, icons, different background shapes and you can see right here what we've done between these two. Then in this video, which is the final video from this series, I'm going to show you how you can include different animations to spice things up a little bit and we are going to actually fix this navigation so it's going to scroll and going to stay put once you start scrolling. So let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is actually click on this button and I'm going to add a state. To do that you have this, which is edit main component, click there. It's going to take you to your main component, then you can add a new state. I'm going to add a hover state or you can add a new state however you want. I'm going to call it hover and on hover, which is selected, I'm going to jump inside and I'm going to simply change the color to this color. So now if I go back, you can see how these look like between the default state and the hover. So I'm going to leave it at default state obviously. Next, I'm going to do the same for this button. So I'm going to make sure to click here to edit the main component. I'm going to also add a hover, call it a hover. And on it, I'm going to do exactly the same thing because I want to keep it nice and simple and I want it to look like it belongs in the same design and it looks exactly the same across your designs. So to inspect it and check it out, you can simply preview and see how that looks like like so. I think it looks really nice but as you can see we have this glitch right here and I'm not sure why but I think on hover the opacity is down a little bit so let's select that one and I can edit our main component. Let's see button BG is at 100 but if we go on the hover state button BG is Let's see, opacity 100. So I'm not sure why it's showing us that. Let's go back and see. Yeah, this is why, because the hero shape is on top of our button. We want it to be behind the button and the text. And let's hit preview now and see how it looks like now. Yeah, now it looks much better because this shape is actually behind the button as it should be. If you think that this is going a bit too fast, you can go back to here, go to prototype and you can see we have hover and how long it lasts. So you can increase the length of that hover. Currently is at 0 0.3. You can, for example, extend it to one second and see how that looks like. So if I hit preview one more time, 
you can see that it's extremely slow but I'm going to keep it at 0.3 seconds like it originally was and you can also do that for hover you can click on the hover and go back and uh, explore how that's going to look like so now that I'm happy with it I can go back and create uh, my accounts section so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, go back to my start account open here click here if you don't know what I'm talking about, I would recommend you go back and watch the previous video and actually you can watch the entire series to be in the known of what I'm doing right here. Basically, what I'm going to do is create a component from the entire group. So hit Control K to create a component. And what I'm going to do in this default state that you see right here, I'm actually going to jump inside of each of these, select all info sections and lower them down to zero so that we are left just with these icons. Obviously, when developers code this, common questions are going to go right here. So right around here, for example, and they're going to have 100 spacing. So it's going to be same like this. So when user clicks on any of these accounts, common question is going to go back down here. And that's what we're going to create in the first state, which is going to be start account state. In this state, we are actually going to jump inside the info section, bring it back to 100%. And I'm going to hide this just to indicate that this is the selected state. Let's go back, create a new state. This one is going to be foreign like that. Inside of the foreign, what we are going to do is basically the same thing. So bring this up, go back to the start account bring this down and inside of the start account icon you can bring this and for an account icon you can hide this so you can clearly see the pattern once they click it's going to disappear and going to show the different I, uh, info section below and once you click on any of these it's going to change and so on and so forth next section is going to be millennial So that's going to be our next state. Inside of that, we can hide this. We can go to the foreign, show it back, bring this up and lower the opacity of this info section down like so. And finally, let's go ahead and create our final state, which is going to be premium account. And for the premium account, we are going to do the same thing. So hide this show this back hide this and show this there we have it now what we're going to do is actually go to the start account because this is the account which we are going to show to our users and to our clients and developers because currently in xd we don't have that possibility which i explained for the default state so all of these uh, items can move down and your entire artboard can extend in height. At the moment of making of these videos, we don't have that option. Perhaps in the future, the team behind XD will include it, but for now, we still don't have it, unfortunately. So you will have to explain to your client and developers how that is going to look like. So we're going to start with the start account. And what I'm going to do is go to the prototyping mode, select my selector click on it, auto animate, trigger is going to be tap, destination is going to be foreign account, easing out, and let's see 0 0.4 seconds, perhaps that's going to work well. I'm going to do the same for the millennial account, Adobe XD is going to remember what I did, I'm going to do the same for this one, so I'm going to go to the premium and for here, I didn't select it to millennial account because start account is already selected. We're not going to mess with that at all. Click on the foreign account and basically we are going to do the same thing. So this is going to be start account. This is going to be millennial account and this is going to be premium account. And unfortunately, uh, once again, Adobe XD doesn't know what you want to do exactly. So um, instead of basically connecting us, we have to select destinations from here. So start account, foreign account, and premium account. 
but instead of it i would really like to see that option in the future so for example i do one of these states so i did for example start account maybe even foreign account and then adobe sd can remember what i did so if i click on the premium account it already did that for me unfortunately you cannot do this uh, for these advanced uh, components you can do this for something like a navigation and it will keep track but for now uh, advanced components are not unfortunately uh, supported but as you can see it just takes a few seconds to click between all of these and to connect them between each other so what i'm going to do is go to my start account click on preview and we can see what we've done so far so once again hover works really nicely as you can see open your perfect account today we are at start account if I click on the foreign account, it's going to change. You can see that the start account goes back to the original state, millennial account, and everything flows really nicely. You can play around with some bounce effect, for example, and see how that's going to look like. But in my case, I really like uh, that easing out effect because as you can see, it really easily transitions between these two icons and it really easily changes these text uh, elements below. As you can see from here, we need to change this learn more inside of our hover state. I don't know why it did that. So let's go back to the design. Let's click right here. And let's see edit main component. There it is. Inside of the hover state, it says learn more, but in the default state, hmm. Let's see, maybe we can change that. No, we actually have to change it here because we changed it here. So let's go back. I'm going to select my apply now text. And let's see, go back to hover like that. And I actually have to do this for every single one. So what I can actually do is hit control C to copy this button and I can paste it in each of these sections. So control V like that. And I'm not going to do it for all states just to save time for this video, but you can do it and you will have to do it basically. So don't make the same mistake I did in this video and make sure that you are checking from the start what you are actually doing. So you know, uh, you don't go here and learn that you made this same mistake so now as you can see apply now works fine learn more works fine login works fine so basically you have to make sure that exactly the same text is in between states so in this default state it says apply now in this hover state it says apply now but for this it says learn more for all states and that's basically it the last thing i'm going to do is fix this navigation so you can simply select it and click right here where it says fix position when scrolling. And because if you remember, we added that nice background blur effect to it. If we hit preview and start scrolling, you can see this really nice background blur effect happening across of our image and this button, which still works as you can see and changes color really nicely. But more importantly, you can see it across all of these different icons across our image text all of these icons so it stays fixed. Obviously, I'm not going to create this navigation as a component because in this video series, we only have this one page. If you want to see that done, once again, you can enroll in the course by using the link down below in the description and applying that massive account, uh, massive discount actually that I'm giving to you guys so that you can learn for all of these different uh, pages and how I did all of that. So let me close that. And finally, let me actually show you what's achieved inside of that course. So we are going to start with the website architecture. As you can see, we have many, many, many different uh, paper wireframes. Let me hide my layout grid right here. As you can see, we have many, many, many different wireframes. We have a dashboard. Then we have a website design instead of simply one dashboard screen. As you can see, we have login screens, sign up screens. We have many different dashboard screens, a responsive website design for these pages, 
project style guide and finally project presentation. I'm going to show you all of that if you enroll in the course. Obviously, you're going to get all of these different sections, different components, icons, images and so on. So if you want, you can enroll in the course and Thank you for watching these videos. I really hope you found them helpful and I really hope you understood this process from design brief, paper wireframes, wireframes in Adobe XD and finally design and animation in Adobe XD. There you go. We have finished this website design series and I really hope you liked the end result that we come up with in this series. Make sure to follow that link down below if you want to check it out and if you want to uh, enroll in the course and access it by this by using this massive discount i promise you it will be worth it because it's over 20 hours long and it covers absolutely everything you need to know about website design in adobe xd and about using the design process itself and going from the beginning all the way to the end Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you found some value in it. If you did, make sure to press that like button. I upload new videos every single week on design, passive income techniques, motivation and more. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.